Hey and welcome back to a new video. Today from the booth of Seasonic. But I will not give you a full booth tour. We will mainly talk about the PSU and the new built-in safety feature in here for 12 volt high power. This could be the first time that 12 volt high power is kinda safe to use and protected directly from the PSU side. We're quickly starting with the OptiSync design though because I find this interesting just to know and to see. So on the left we have embedded in acrylic a traditional heatsink that you can find in most of the PSUs. So we have aluminum heatsink and a MOSFET that is mounted on it, which means that there's also a manual like step involved of adding the MOSFET to the heatsink. Now, one step further with, I think, the first generation of what they call the OptiSync is a PCB and heatsinks, small heatsinks that are directly mounted, surface mounted onto the PCB. So the heat is dissipated through the PCB, through the small heat sinks that you can see on top of it. So that's not only cheaper in regard of just using less aluminum, it also makes it much more convenient because you can have this in an assembly line without manual operation that you would have on here. And then the third iteration, or what they call OptiSync 2.0, is the same thing, so a PCB with heat sinks mounted on top, but in addition, it's like a bigger heat sink and a hole that you can see in the heat sink, like in here. And they're adding, I would assume it's like putty or it could be like a high viscosity thermal paste that they're injecting in here for better thermal transfer. So that's just nice to see, interesting, how the cooling solution inside the PSU evolved over the years. I grabbed that the PSU walked behind the booth so we can talk about this and it's, it's great. Finally, somebody else joined the group of people that are making money off Jensen. Yeah, not doing it properly with the 12 volt high power connector. And the one who is joining the list is Seasonic. We have this PSU, which is a prototype. And if we look at the 12 volt high power connectors right here, you might be able to see that all around these 12 volt high power connectors there are shunt resistors. And those shunt resistors are to measure per pin current, which is very similar to what we are planning to do with the wire view, but from the PSU side. This is purely a protection feature. It's not a regulating feature. That is something I want to make clear. I read comments about this often. Why are we not regulating, like forcing even current, current across the 12 volt high power connector? While this is technically possible, I think it would cause additional problems, so it wouldn't really solve the actual problem. If you think about it, currently the 12 volt high power connector right here, right? So the top row that is close to the sense pins is carrying the 12 volt supply that is going to your graphics card. Now, the current distribution is set by the contact resistance between the pins. In an ideal world, you would have the same contact resistance at all of the six pins, which would give you an equal current distribution across the 12 volt high power connector. For example, on a 5090, this would be with like 550 watts, around eight amps per pin. That's the ideal world. Now we know we have manufacturing tolerances and that you might have 7.8 amps and then like 8.2 amps and then like 8.5 amps and all of this is fine. It just sucks when you have an issue where you have very high contact resistance on some of the pins or like one of the pins and then very low contact resistance on other pins, which would mean you have a very uneven current distribution. And that's where, you know, things get warm and things would become a problem. So going back to the regulation part, if you would regulate it and force like a too high current across the pins where you have a high contact resistance, then it's not solving anything. It might make things worse because you would push current across pins with high contact resistance which would then further introduce like more heat into the connector and that's why active regulation from the PSU side would not solve the problem. Now that's where the current sensing jumps in with those shunt resistors. That is something you also have on, for example, the traditional like eight pin connectors or like a 24 pin connector, but typically you only have it for an entire connector or like multiple of the connectors at once, not per pin. Now that's the new thing. 
they are measuring per pin current and they're doing it over software and then telling the PSU what is actually going on. And this, this way, the PSU would not only know the total power draw, but also if the current distribution is a problem or not. While this is not fully done yet, they're still thinking how to implement this, there will be some kind of feedbacks that you will get from the PSU. So first of all, there will be a software. I assume they would implement some kind of like a USB connector so you, you can run on your system, some kind of monitoring software that would tell you exactly what is going on with the power draw. And then you would have different thresholds, for example, 10 amps. First a threshold for just giving you a warning that something might be out of spec. And then there would be a second threshold, for example, at 12 amps, which would directly trigger a shutdown. And while just having a monitoring software is nice, from my personal perspective, you would still need something like a hardware feedback. Like, I don't know, some kind of a buzzer, some audible feedback you would get from the PSU directly. Otherwise, I would assume it could be difficult. For example, just imagine you're just playing some games and suddenly your system shuts down and you have no clue what was going on because you were probably not checking the, yeah, the, the current balancing software at the same time. That's why I said it's absolutely important that you also get some kind of a hardware feedback. And if they implement some, I don't know, flashing LED on a PSU or some kind of an audible noise, then I think it would be quite cool and noticeable that something is wrong. And then you can, you can check your, your PSU, your cable, your GPU. But with this thing implemented, it's like an overcurrent protection per pin, then nothing should go wrong. You would be prior to the phase where things melt. You would know, okay, I have to check my cable, I have to check my GPU, maybe just replace the cable and see if everything is fine. So that is, that's a great step in the great direction because it's, it means that the PSU manufacturer here is acknowledging that there is a problem. That's the problem I have with NVIDIA, you know? There is like, they're pretending that everything is fine. They're sitting in a burning house, this is fine, which it's obviously not. And Seasonic jumping on the, on the list of people who are working on this topic means that it is a problem. And seeing that they're implementing this directly in the P into the PSU is, is absolutely great. And while it won't fix the problem itself, where it comes from, I think it would give just the user much more peace that you can, you can just use it and when something goes wrong, it would worst case shut down before something burns down. That would be the great thing. So, Seasonic, thank you. They said it will probably come early next year, so there's still a long way to go, but it's great that they're, that they're working on it. So, that's it from Seasonic Booth. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Bye-bye.